What's up YouTube? Luke coming at you. Um, sent in a BGS order and sent in 30 and had it done in 10 days and wanted it done before I headed out the door to Afghanistan and I leave in two days so wanted to share this video with you. I'm gonna have a couple more videos after this just to do set updates and uh, show the progress on some of my stuff so super excited to get these done and I have a few guys that have been itching for me to get this order in so that I could do my set update so I know I'm excited and they are too so let's start showing some stuff off so I know I did a a set completion video for this um, I picked this one up I don't think this was in the set video but this is a 9510 dual jersey dual auto of Joe Flacco and Torrey Smith and that one is the jersey version out of 10 and that got a 9510, picked it up pretty reasonable price. But then the Nationals, uh, Ryan RBI Crew 7 had this one sitting in his booth, or he held it back because he knew that I was making this set and I didn't have the patch version, but I was able to get the 9510 for him, uh, from him. So that one's out of 5, the patch is out of 5, the jersey's out of 10. But. I was happy to have the patch and jersey version, but when I was going through putting those away, I went through and looked at the overall condition of my set, and I was pretty impressed on buying it off eBay or pack pulling it or picking it up at shows of how good of a condition these ones are. Most of the time when they hit the market for the first time, I was able to snag them. So there's only 15 cards in the set, but... I had to send in 30 cards um, for my August uh, promotion that I had with Beckett. So those were the best looking cards I could come up with instead of sending in Bowman Crone because I'm getting out of doing all that. I prefer having just football players and primarily uh, Hall of Fame or star players because you'll see some of these when I did open a lot and collect it. Some of these guys aren't even going to be in the NFL, aren't in the NFL or aren't going to be doing much, but still a cool set I put together. And this is Kenny Britt and Jake Locker. This one graded out a 9.5, 10 auto. And this is the jersey version out of 10. And then we got Maurice Jones Drew and Blaine Gabbert, jersey version. This one graded out a 9.5, 10 auto. Show off the autos. Jones Drew and Blaine Gabbert out of 10. And then this one got a 9.5 overall grade, but the auto got an 8. And that would be because of Antonio Gates. He kind of went off the car off the sticker twice when he was coming back around and it kind of feathered on one of them where it skipped. And I think Vincent Brown kind of went off sticker on the top of his B, barely. But that's the jersey version. That got an 8 auto, but it's still a gold bar, and I'll take it. Um, for the Chiefs, or previous Chiefs, Dwayne Bowe and Jonathan Baldwin, the patch version. Uh, this one graded out a 9.5 with a 10 auto. Number 3 or 2 of 5? 2 of 5. Dwayne Bowe and Jonathan Baldwin. And then for the Colts from 2011, uh, Dallas Clark and Delone Carter. This one got a pristine 10. I knew they were in good condition. I didn't think they were 10 worthy, but this one got a pristine 10. Dual patch. Autos. But it got a 9 auto because Dallas Clark kind of went off sticker on the bottom of the D, whatever he was trying to do, where is it, right there. So, I knew going in that it was, that these were going to get nine autos because they went off sticker. And none of them looked like they were, like, streakery or anything. They just went off sticker. So, for the Redskins, Chris Cooley and Leonard Hankerson. And I think this one can get, get a bump. It got a centering nine, corners nine, edges ten, surface ten. So it just needs a .5 on one of the other two grades and it can get the bump. But the uh, autos did get a 9 because Chris Cooley went off sticker. But that's 3 of 5. 
And then the other nine for the set that I got was the Steve Smith and Cam Newton. I think the biggest one in the set. Um, and this one got a 10 auto. And Steve Smith was able to stay on sticker, and I can't believe other people couldn't, but he had all that stay on sticker and got a 10 auto. But this one can also get a bump on the corners, I think. I didn't see any major issues on corners. Not that I can tell, but centering got a 10, edges got a 10, corners got an 8.5, and surface got a 9.5. So I might try and one day later send that in to try and get the bump just so that I can have all gold bars. So to match my jersey version, I got the patch version, and this one got a 9.5. 10 auto, Joe Flacco, Torrey Smith, number 4 or 5. So, super happy to have that one. And then the jersey version of the Matt Ryan, Julio Jones. This one graded out a 9.5 with a 9 auto. In the, out of 10 version, and you can see Julio kind of just barely went off sticker. But... That one's pretty nice, but I also have the patch version, and this is also got a 9.5, and it's numbered out of 5, but this one, Julio was able to stay on stickers, so this one ended up getting a 10 auto. And then to match the patch version, I've also got the jersey version of the Tony Romo DeMarco Murray. This one got a 9.5 with a 10 autos, so... Super happy on all the grades that I got back on this one. So, so far there's only been two nines. And then for the 49ers, you got Colin Kaepernick and Vernon Davis. This one got a 9.5 with a 10 auto. Jersey version out of 10. And this is the patch version of the Adrian Peterson and Christian Ponder. Numbered out of 5. And surprisingly, AP is the one who didn't screw this one up. Stupid Christian Ponder, always screwing things up. Bottom of his C, barely goes off sticker, which got it a 9. But AP, it's his modified auto, and he was able to not be streaky or go off sticker. So, super nice AP looking card with a nice Vikings logo nameplate right there on it. And then for the Saints, there was Marquise Colson and Mark Ingram dual auto, dual patch out of five. And this one got a 9.5 with a 10 auto. But I also have the jersey version. And the jersey version got a pristine 10. And it also got a 10 auto. So happy to have both those cards and to have another pristine 10 is super nice. But to also have another pristine 10, I didn't realize that these things were in such good shape, but super happy to get another pristine 10 for the collection. I think having the total number of pristine 10s I got in this order uh, has been the most outdone all the other gradings that I've done previously, but this got a 9 auto because AJ Green barely goes off the top of his sticker on his A right there but he's got a 9 9 auto but a pristine 10 overall jersey version and the last ones of the set Calvin Johnson and Mikel LaShore dual patch I think these are the only Calvin Johnson autos that I have is from this set so Got a nice 9.5, 10 auto on the patch. But I also have the jersey version. The only reason to show the jersey version after the patch version is that's the fourth pristine I got out of this order. That's all the pristines in this order, but ended on a nice 10-10 overall grade. You got Calvin Johnson and Mikel Lashore. Now on to 
some PC stuff. This is the third nine in the order, but this is from the 1997 UD Legend set. Carl Mecklenburg. This got a 910, and it got a centering 95, corners 85, surface 10, edges 9, and it's just because the black border down on the bottom super sensitive around the nameplate right there. That's where it got the the bad grade, but it's PC, so I can't. I'm not going to be too upset about it. Um, for my Floyd Little collection, Sign of the Times Gold out of 10. This one I got raw reviewed at Nationals and it came back a 9510. So super happy to have, uh, super happy to have that. And then for the Von Miller PC, and also to have another probably potential Hall of Famer on their. J.J. Watt, Von Miller, Dual Auto. I think this is their only Dual Auto together, and it's numbered out of 10, out of Momentum, 2012-2013 Clash Reunion Momentum. But it was able to get a 9, or I mean a 10 Auto. Uh, both those guys were able to stay on card, so super happy to have that one in the collection. Then I had the pack opening itch and was able to land this guy out of the two packs I opened. I got this one. And it's Clayton, Clayton Kershaw, Red Storm, out of Topps High Tech. And this one's numbered out of 10. And they got a 9, 5, 10. Super happy on that one. And then one that I had get a bump from a 9, 10 out of Tier 1 Clayton Kershaw, Patch Auto. That one's super nice. Then RBI Crew had this sitting in their case, and he knows that I'm a sucker for this set. I already have a 9510. Was hoping this would get a 9510, which I think it should get a bump on the surface. I'm not seeing any massive surface issues. I think it can get a 9, and that should bump it up to be a 9510. Terry Bradshaw out of the NFL Greatest set. And then for my Spectra 50th Anniversary set, I only sent two cards in. The Paul Horning for the Packers. I had a 9-10, but this one was able to get a 9-5-10, so that's super nice to have. And then, not to be outdone, for the Dolphins, Dan Marino. Unfortunately, he signed over himself, but it didn't take away from getting a 10 auto. And I have uh, another Marino, but when you clean the surface, make sure you stay away from the autos. Um, they tend to get messed up when you try. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I messed one card up, so I was happy to get this at Nationals, and it got. Centering 10, edges 10, corners 9, 5, surface 9. But that puts my count at 41 for the 9, 5, 10s for that set. But that's one that I'll be doing an update video for. So stay tuned for that. And then this is the other set I'll be doing an update on. I've had a, another 9, 5, 10 for this guy, uh, Victor Cruz. But anytime I can get them in and they look clean, I try and get them submitted just to see if I can get better subs or maybe one day I'll get a pristine in this but I haven't been so lucky yet but this one's out of uh, 50 so this is uh, another 9510 and this one was a 9959 nine, nine, but I had it raw reviewed at nationals and it got the bump to a 10 auto I don't see how it couldn't get a 10 auto there's small streak in one of the the letters in the G but it got a the bump up to a 10, so now I have the 9510 for the set. So all the other ones I've been holding on to, hoping I could get a 9510, I might let go back into the market. And then another one, this one was a 910, but I thought it could get the bump, and it got two sub bumps at National, so sent that in to get slabbed. 10 auto. For the Eli Manning for the set. 
And then I picked this one up as a redemption and it came in and it was super nice looking. And you got to end it on a PC card and I don't mind having two. One for the set and one for the Bronco PC. 9510 Auto Peyton Manning for the Virtuoso set. Thanks for checking out my video. I'll have a couple more videos to do to do set updates and stay tuned and see y'all later.